Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 46, and this is war number 11. We just got one more war after this one. And we're going up against an alliance called Samurai Blood 3. All right, let's see who they've banned here. Warlock, Hercules, uh, Ghost, all right. Wasn't... Uh, Planning on bringing any one of those, so that's good. Let's see what they've done. I wish I'd stop tapping on things like that. Okay. So we've got Emma Frost. Hmm. Okay. She doesn't get an armor up, uh, but Viv Vision does. Hmm. So, for this Emma, Lady Deathstrike's coming. For sure. Um, for this Viv Vision, maybe Gallon, maybe Hulkling. Uh, Corvus could also do that, but let's see who we have over here. All right, Magneto, you guys already know. Um... Again, Lady Deathstrike. And, hmm. Lady Deathstrike might be able to take that Sauron. That might be interesting if he uh, assigns me to that one. Can probably also take this uh, Bishop if I'm careful. Not like I did the last war. All right, so Magneto, Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike can take all of the rest of these. And yeah, I might just go ahead and... uh. Should I bring Gallon? Or Hulkling? Hmm. I think I'm going to bring Hulkling. He's a bit more sturdy, even though I'm pretty sure Gallon will take her out. And that Hulkling might be um, used elsewhere. So, Lady Deathstrike for Emma Frost. Hulkling for Viv Vision. Magneto for Future Ant-Man. Lady Deathstrike for Namor. And Lady Deathstrike can take that Sauron. Can probably take that Bishop. Um, and we'll see Hulkling. They may assign me something else as well. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. I'm going in with what had become my favorite team. Magneto, Lady Deathstrike, and Hulkling. And see, by the time this video comes out, it'll be too late for anybody to adjust their strategies, uh, at least this season. And who knows what's going to happen next season. Uh, maybe they'll fix it up. If they don't, whatever. All right? So we got Emma Frost. She does not get any uh, armor ups. Uh, and so she doesn't really benefit from this node. So it's Lady Deathstrike. And uh, I actually like Emma Frost. I really do. Um, I don't use her all that much, uh, really, outside of Arena. Now, this uh, Emma Frost is Awakened. So we've got the reverse controls. And I do know she was like the first champion, if I remember correctly, to have that mechanic. And I hated it. Still don't like it. But at least hers is consistent. If she's Awakened... I know how to deal with it. Okay. So, here we go. Try and get her to throw it. There you go. Look at that. Simple, right? And if she's not awakened, you just have to remember you don't have to reverse it. But there are some that are really annoying. Like Mr. Negatives. Oh, that is so annoying. Let me tell you. Um... 
but yeah, look at this. And here's the nice thing about um, using Lady Deathstrike. See, look at that. I actually got hit there. You can tell that I got hit if you look at the, um, uh, I don't know, not the call outs, but if you look at the text on the left side, you'll see my nanobots regen activate. When that happens, it's because I got hit with her special. All right, but as you can see, or maybe you don't see, no health lost. Mmm. Definitely. Look at that. Ooh. And I could get hit, but I'm always scared um, that it might take me out before I can heal up. So I don't do that. Now, Sandman, I know his specials are not going to knock me out in one. And I'll have plenty of time to heal up. So I'm not worried about it. But some specials, they do a lot of damage. And so I'm nervous. Now, Viv Vision, she benefits from the node. And I still, I, I practiced a little bit. But I still don't evade her special one completely all the time. You know, because it's a long pause for me. You know, it's like, boom. Boom. And then you got to wait and then you do it. And I always mess up that last one and I'll get hit or clipped something really annoying. All right. But with uh, Oakling, we got this. We good. Look at that. Unblockable. And what I try to do is just push it to her special uh, two. Special two. We're good. Special one is the one that I have a problem with. Special two is easy. A little foot kick at the end. <laughs> I swear. I love it. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look at that damage. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Hulkling just nasty with it. Man. Go ahead, Hulkling. Spread your wings. Spread my wings. Fly away. To a place that I long for. Anyway, some of y'all remember that song. And we got our standard fight against uh, future Ant-Man. We got the solution. Now, what's interesting, if, I, if they banned Magneto and put future Ant-Man there, that'll be a pain. Uh, because Corvus can do it, but it would make it much more difficult. And I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about who else uh, I would use against him. Look at that. I messed that up before, if you guys remember, in a previous war. But his Unstoppable saves me. So here we go. Still haven't lost a whole lot of health. Pretty, pretty uh, straightforward, simple fight. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, who in the world would I use against him on there? You know, it would have to be, you know, Corvus. I have done, uh, I have fought him, fought him with Corvus there, but I'd probably have to come up with a different one if they banned uh, Magneto. Leave a comment. Who would you guys use against him if Magneto was banned on that node? Keep in mind, he gets armor up, so you need uh, somebody that's bleed immune. And uh, oof, that would be really, really tough. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway. Uh, well, you know, it would have, it could be somebody, I have to look him up again, but I think, um, there's other ways to prevent his armor, uh, armors. Cause if you can prevent his armors, you don't need an, uh, a bleed immune. So that could be, that could be an option. Uh, but anyway, so now we got Namor and we fought Namor before on this note, in fact, with her so we know how to how to deal with that lady death strike 
is definitely my MVP for a lot of the pesky fights. Especially uh, against the mutant global defenders. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Notice that I'm rooted, but he's not unblockable. That is what she does when she has a heal block on him. Just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fight. All right, now we've got, I think, one more fight. Uh, one more um, mini, a mini boss. I'm trying to remember, who was it? I think, was it... Um, I think it was Apocalypse. Yeah, I'm looking around because I don't have either one of those uh, to fight. Yeah, I think um, I had to go straight to uh, Boss Island. Yeah, that's what I had to do. And against this uh, Apocalypse. Notice that the boss is already down. And we're worried about the fight. Um, they have a lot of deaths. They had like something like 40 deaths that didn't count. So they had a really rough time because they brought uh, the wrong counter or something like that. Um, I don't even remember who it was uh, that got all of those uh, kills. Uh, you notice my, my um, potions? Like I said, I, I now get one or two every chance I get. Now, this one... This fight scared me a little bit. And it's because he does a lot of damage into my block. His specials do a lot of damage. Okay, so he is a mutant. And so she does have the advantage. All right. Now, look at this. I tried to evade it. But notice that I got hit and healed all the way back up. One, there was an invulnerability, but I did get hit. Yeah, see, look at that. And I'm like, hmm, why didn't I heal all the way back up though? See, that worried me. So I'm like, okay, maybe I just need to do what I usually do and dex out of the last part of that. Okay, um, and I'm looking at my health, and I'm looking at his health. So I'm just like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta uh, try to evade as much as possible, because if you see, my health is just slowly going down. Look at that. I'm like, oh boy, am I gonna be able to get him? I'm, I'm not sure at this point. So I'm like, let me push him to a special two. Maybe the special two will work better. Okay, here we go. Oh no, still a lot of damage. Okay, and I saw that D-Gen starting up. So I'm like, okay, we gotta fire off some specials here. Okay, let's go back in. Gotta be aggressive. Hit him with that. Can we get him? Come on, come on. Ooh, Hail Mary. And we got him. Oh, man. I was nervous about that finish. I was like, please. Because it was either me get him or he was going to get me. And I've had it where I fire my special just like that. And they fire theirs instead. And I was just hoping that wouldn't happen. All right. So we'll be back in a moment. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So with this win, we have one war left, and we are pretty much locked into uh, Platinum 2. So the final war of the season, we've already uh, talked about it, and it's going to be a nice, relaxed war. Uh, officer told us, look, you know, don't go crazy with the potions if you don't want to, just you know, at least boost, but we can't go down or up unless 
there's a lot of bands in uh you know master or platinum uh actually in any of the ones up uh, above us um but it's going to be a nice relaxed war so anyway that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching take care hit the like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day Thank you.